Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games, and welcome back to part 5 of my Pelly's America playthrough here in Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiser Kaiserreich. We are the Commonwealth of America, Pelly is in charge, and we are about to take Cuba, because, damn it, we need slave labor, and more importantly, chromium. Even though I'm making just light tanks right now, you know, maybe I want a navy, everybody ever think about that? <clears throat> so we should be going to war here in a couple of months. Uh, how short are we in infantry equipment? Actually, severely. No, no, it'll just take a couple months. So what I'm probably going to do, since the purpose of these Marines is not so much to like, be good fighters... Ah, here's the event I've been waiting for. <clears throat> Can you see the real Peli? Although only known to the highest ranking members of the Silver Legion, there is a hidden depth in the mind of our chief Peli. To his close, closest friends, Peli is more than a leader and a friend. He is their political, religious, and moral guide. Until now, a sort of secret doctrine has been hidden from the public at large due to their unwillingness to accept that religious and temporal authority are one in the same. Now that our enlightened leader is well accepted in this brave new American society, should we go open with some of his more esoteric ideas? Pelly's handlers, as it is, can barely keep him from exposing his deeper thoughts to the public. Is the mystery of Pelly enough for the history books? And say too many would fear this or the world is ready which will increase my popularity five percent getting me into a new political power echelon and also cost me 150 political power now i don't know yet if that triggers any particular events but i sure hope it does brazil just joined the entente hmm. well all right cool seems like a good good area for me to leap off and you know any faction we join we're just gonna leave later like this there's no men like peli there's only peli so any faction is merely a tool for us to use. All right. Anyway, what I was what I was trying to set up earlier is we'll just go ahead and force out these marines. I do not expect. I did not accept. Hey, I expect you to survive. I expect you to win. And we're just gonna try to take all these areas here and achieve. Hopefully, achieve a cutoff somewhere. Isolating some of the, some of these fellas, or at least pinning down anybody who's trying to move across the island. Okay, now we need our. Oh, we don't have a navy. Whoops. Okay, um, that's okay. We we can get to work on that. Let's start with just some submarines. How big could their navy be, right? 16. All right. Well, it looks like these Marines aren't going to do much of anything then. That's fine. It's fine. Let me just set them to low priority though. So the infantry equipment stays with the actual good divisions. Okay. That's right. I totally forgot that I don't have a Navy. All right. So we need, we're going to need a little bit more political power. I'm thinking, uh, is there anything down here? What do we got? The new diplomatic corps. That's going to give you war support also. Yep, that's exactly what I need. I need war support and the power, uh, political power, because I need to be able to switch, start making my way up here. Like right now, I could have gone for early mobilization, but I got that 150 event. It's okay though. It's okay. Actually, uh, my party popularity gain has not changed yet. I think it resets it each month or something though. Hopefully, it'll change soon, so we can get just a little bit more. Russia's declared on Transimer, so let the eternal war in East Asia begin. Transimer is actually a republic right now. They're social democrats. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I could have gotten ahead of military intelligence. Wait, didn't I do that? I thought I had. I thought I had picked up a national populist guy somewhere. Or was that in another campaign? I've got so many I'm juggling right now. It can... It can get a little difficult to keep track. All right, but let the war begin. This this should just be no problem at all. Okay, go. All right, what do you all? Come on, Argonauts. To the west and nice. We're getting a volunteer. The French Republic wants to help us out. They're sending us volunteers. See, Patan knows what's up. Oh my gosh, they went paternal autocrat. I have not seen them do that in ages. Okay, yeah, we're making really short work of these Cubans. Just running right over them the old-fashioned way. 
Uh, there is a naval invasion attempt in the southeast, it says. If they want to send troops away from Cuba to try to take me on, that's their problem. Look at that. Our navy is up and running now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ignore them. Uh, wait, can I afford to ignore them? I think I can. I think I can. If they like I said, if they want to waste send their time sending divisions north, that is totally their business. All right, what is the problem? We lack sufficient intel in these areas. Okay, do we maybe have? Let's get some planes over the area. Having a little bit of trouble here, but it's because only one division is there. All right, new diplomatic corps is done, so we can switch up at least to early mobilization. Okay, what's next? Uh, we're still not in that next echelon of political power. This is crap. I'm being screwed here. <sighs> okay, maybe we could get. Is it time for segregation forever? It might be. It just might be. Let's see. Now, there's some really, there's some good focuses here, like like forced labor. That's going to be good stuff, but I really want to get to America being born again. Let's pick up segregation forever, get more stability. Our inability to stop protesters from returning each day despite the beatings and the bullets proved to be an intriguing challenge. The Silver Legion has decided to employ an overwhelming alliance to outshout the dissidents by calling up segregationist organizations in the South and inviting them to the capital. Segregation today, segregation tomorrow, segregation forever, and whatnot. Uh, but you know what? I, I really shouldn't let these guys just take my capital. It wouldn't be right. Cubans on American soil. Ugh. With a side of ugh. The Pass Laws. The Silver Leg Legion has begun issuing a passbook to African Americans throughout the Commonwealth in anticipation of the Pass Laws taking effect next year. This law is similar to older internal passports used during the time of the Confederacy to identify freemen and slaves. The Silver Legion strongly discourages any comparison to Pass Laws and has defended their claims with violence. This has resulted in numerous African Americans being forbidden from traveling outside the South with plans to extend zoning into the rest of the Commonwealth. Papers, please. <laughs> That's cute. All right. Uh, my Marines, yeah, they're in the area here. We've got the French Republic volunteers willing to help me. And we're just going to go down and take their port. And they'll starve, no problem. No problem at all. These Cubans giving me a little more trouble than I thought they would, but... Yeah, I think they're, they're already... Damn, they're up to 20 divisions. Oh, because it looks like they're just pumping out cheap cavalry or something. Let's do something like that. Okay, go. Also, let's have our... Uh... Oh, this is a fun event. Let's come down here. <laughs> Officiate Warren G. Harding as black. The official record records in the United States have always been biased in favor of the ruling party. Once in office, Thomas Jefferson slandered the memory of the great patriot John Adams and fooled subsequent generations into believing that his love for nativism was tyranny. Now we must erase the great lie perpetrated by presidential candidate and governor of Ohio Warren G. Harding to hide his black ancestry. We have the papers to prove that beyond a shadow of a doubt that Harding's father was a black man and therefore complicit in the worldwide conspiracy against the Commonwealth. Take that, Harding, and we get some popularity and political power. Excellent. Which means partial mobilization. Look at us go now. Look at all these factories we've got running. Beautiful. Okay, now with Construction 3 done, I think we can start to rebuild America at least a little bit. More syndicalist bombing. Still fighting for their so-called revolution. Oh, organization's a little low there. Hmm. Alright, we've taken their air base. Federalists are slaughtering police. These guys are jerks, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, just the worst kind of people. We need to get a little bit more political power, though, um, to keep fighting them. Because I've been spending it on mobilizing, but I really felt that I had to. Alright, how are we doing here? You know, good defense, not so much on the, uh, not so good 
elsewhere, but come on, put him to work. Put him to work, get some experience. All right, and now they've been cut off from any ports. We should be able to make pretty short work of them now. Fall of Havana. Cuban soldiers and militias have been driven from Havana and into the countryside or into the old Spanish forts in the city where after hours of merciless bombardment, they have finally surrendered to American forces. With the raising of the American flag over El Moro Castle, commonly depicted in many postcards, the control of the entrance to the Havana harbor has been secured by the invaders. Cuban forces, while not as numerous or well-equipped as their enemy, managed to force a brutal fight as they fought block by block against efforts by the forces of the Commonwealth of America to take the city for as long as they could. In the end, their valiant resistance was only fleeting as Havana is now in the hands of a foreign power. Their defiance was never going to prevail. And there we have it. I have Cuba. A co classic southern dream to occupy uh, Cuba. Which, of course, leaves Mexico! What is this? Soldaderas. Hmm. Okay. So, like I was saying, Mexico is next on the list. Of course, we're gonna just naval invade them and hit Veracruz, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna definitely, you know, do do one. We're gonna create one of those more extreme plans. I'm just gonna say at least Yucatan is coming home to America. Although you could also make the argument that uh, the Commonwealth would take some of the take the views that uh, some of the some of the people some of the politicians after the u.s war with mexico had where it's like you know we want mexican land the problem is it's so full of mexicans which is one of the reasons why they didn't draw the line further south one of the many reasons uh but we could do white citizens council we can't do church and state yet though one two three four five six focuses away that's 300 days so by this time next year we could be totally recovered from the civil war which sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Although, what's going to give me... Can I get some political power along the way? Yes, right here. Christian identity. So, since that's the case, let's start good. Let's just finish up this Christian commonwealth. This focus sucks. Only two civilian factories, but you got to do it. Pelley's grand vision of the American Commonwealth is a country free of debt and bonds by turning the entire government into a gigantic corporation. Inalienable rights are given, not promised, to native-born Americans in the form of stocks that pay annual dividend or credits to citizens that vote on their Silver Legion representative. Okay. We've got... Now we have our Marines here. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to bring you guys here. Then we need to get you training. Okay, artillery is looking great now. But now I'm short on the support equipment. That's going to take 215 days. Uh, let's see here. Let's fill that up. Okay, now for the Marines, we want you to have recon, signal, engineers, support artillery. Okay, and can we also afford to put another... No, that would put us over the limit, so I can't put another uh, division in there. These guys are ready to go, though, so let's get them out. And then, we should be at least able to get these two 10 widths. Great, great. All right, now we need another 13. <clears throat> no, because that's going to that's gonna have me run out of manpower. That's fine, though. So let's get you guys training. And we're also going to start fighting the Federalist terrorists. How much is it going to cost me to hold on to Cuba? 50 political power? I think that's worth it. Uh, just for all that chromium. And plus, if we go over here, look at that. I'm getting 23 factories from trade. I know a lot of that's probably the oil, but I really think some of it's because of the chromium as well. Now, uh, we've got... Yeah, so we're, we're just going to let that run out. Of course, I don't want to spend the political power before I have to, so we're just going to let it play out. We're also in July of 1939, which means the war in Europe is going to be starting soon. Union of South Africa just joined with the Germans, which means it's going to be difficult for us to get down there into Middle Africa. Germany is fighting Russia right now. Okay. And uh, one of the things I'm so happy about in this hot fix, I think I mentioned it in another episode I was recording, but Russia can, it's, it's now impossible for Russia to join Germany, which has, has been, it's been one of those things, it's not a big deal, but <clears throat> I've just felt it never made any sense within lore uh, for, that, for that to be something that could happen. All right, so we've got these 24 divisions here. 
Uh, we're not going to really push too hard. How many divisions do they got? They got maybe 35. It looks like just about everybody is on the border. Okay. Now, the key to Mexico has always been Veracruz. Cortez knew it. Scott knew it. I know it. Now you know it. And let's just set up a couple of naval invasions there. Terrific. All right. As for our Navy, we are going to just merge everybody together, I'm thinking. Merge, 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 merge all these submarines. We don't have very much, but I don't think we will need much in order to uh, beat on to beat on them too bad. Hmm. No more lend lease. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Still really, really short on light tanks. It's gonna take almost a year to fix that up. Maybe uh, I've overestimated my industry. All right, but now it's time for the Christian identity. We got a little bit here. Uh, okay, we're about to lose it though because of the fate of Cuba. There we have it. Worth it. Okay, next we need computing machines. Hmm. Yes, computing machines. Now, I'm trying to remember, where do I get my other research slots? Covenant Sword Arm, Forced Labor, White Citizens Council. Oh, here we go, National Education Administration. Or at least that's where I get one of them. Stability, corruption, political power. Where is the other one? Here it is, Army Bonus Bill. Okay, so both my other research slots are really out of the way. But it, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, we'll be okay. Does anything give me political power going down this way? No, I didn't think so. So, we got the... Alright, that's good, because you know, I could have sworn when I was going through the focus tree before that, that uh, the Commonwealth only got four slots, and I knew that couldn't be right. Anyway, um, whoops, let's get you guys down here to the Gulf of Mexico. There it is, the second Weltkrieg has broken out. Uh, we will not get involved in that anytime soon. Then again, it's not like we're going to get involved in Mexico anytime soon either. We've just got the stuff drawn. We're still recovering, and yeah, it's actually going to really take a long time for us to recover coming down but but getting that America is born again is gonna be huge it's gonna get us so much stability war support it's gonna fix a ton of things up for us now we're still working on the infrastructure here this is ridiculous go oh, yeah, guess because we were repairing stuff but once that infrastructure is done we can start to build a good military industrial complex base so um, I'm thinking, yeah, America born again, then we're going to rebuild the country. We probably need to rush down here to the National Education Administration, and then we'll begin reconstruction, because I don't, like, the main thing with beginning reconstruction is you need the political power. I mean, the, I mean pardon me, the cores. I can wait on that. I don't have much, but I have enough for now. Okay, these guys are almost ready. How are we doing? The support equipment is still really lagging. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna take you guys. Let's put you right here. I don't think we'll get far with them, but there we go. Italy. Yeah, Italy just declared on the Socialist Republic, but because it was an offensive move, I don't think. Oh no, they are part of the Austrian Empire. Okay, so this means Austria is gonna now get involved in the war. Of course, we want the Third International to win. Or at least hurt the Germans because we're gonna fight. We're gonna help. We're gonna help the Entente. We're gonna help these reactionary forces take back their homelands, which I think would complete in my all my American series me siding with everybody because that means I will have sided with. I've gone. I'll have gone League of American States. I'll have done a Russian alliance, a Japanese alliance, a German alliance. Yeah, it's cool. 
All right, come on. We got the 20 political power. Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Terrorist, 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 terrorist. Pop up already. Okay, Christian identity complete. Uh, so what we could do, we could join the Entente right now. And I suppose there's no reason not to. But I also want to hit Mexico. Yeah, because we want we want the Yucatan. All right, so we've got that set up. We're gonna, yeah, let's join the Entente and hopefully I don't get totally screwed. And in a couple of days, we'll have some political power again in order to keep fighting the socialist terrorists. There it is. The old world order lies shattered and engulfed by war. Its web of alliance is now changed, almost beyond recognition. So, going <clears> to <throat> keep fighting the socialist terrorists. Uh, right now, they're down to fading resistance. Only a few, few die-hard radical so syndicalist terrorists now remain, with most of their compatriots killed or arrested. One final push to destroy the remaining safe houses hidden in the ruins of factories of Chicago and Milwaukee, and the steel belt will be pacified. Okay, so we need Christian work ethic, which is great. Uh, with the advent of the Commonwealth, there begins a split in the work ethic across the nation that the Silver Region, Legion did not intend. Blue laws that used to allow Christians time off work to go to church are being revoked by those who do not value the morals of the nation. We must bring blue laws back. Imperial and Scientific Council. Uh, okay, yeah, basically we now are in the Scientific Council. So this is really good because it's gonna help me uh, keep pace research wise because it's going to be a little while before I actually am able to uh, you know, do that. Now in February of 1940 we'll be able to go after Mexico and that is going to be the priority. Who's justifying on us right now? Socialist Republic of Italy. They're justifying on us. What does that mean? Sardinia or something? Well they're going to they're going to join the war soon enough I'm sure. Uh, probably after Explore the North. Uh, Edward's going to go after Canada. But we're gonna we're gonna focus on Mexico at least for a little while, and I've got these eleven divisions. Okay, let's bring you here, put you under Collins. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else ready for command point upgrades? No, not you, Patton. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so we're we're gonna we're gonna take Mexico, and then I don't think I don't know how much we're gonna get involved in everything else uh, at first. Black Education Act. The wave of public education changes implemented by Pelley in order to solidify Christian identity into the American youth is nearly complete. His final act, which passed with unanimous approval by the shell of Congress, is the Black Education Act. The Black Education Act totally redefines education practices for ethnic minority communities, and in particular African Americans. Notably, it focused the education of African Americans for their role as laborers and distances themselves from older notions of religious unity across races. As part of his speech announcing the law, he famously stated, There is no place for the Negro in the Anglo-Saxon community above the level of labor. What is the use in teaching the Negro child mathematics when it cannot use it in practice? Now, I think that line is taken straight out of apartheid South Africa, in case you didn't know what kind of country is being built here. Education that suits them. All right, so that gives me another 20 just in time to fight the federal terrorists once more. Uh... And that'll be it. That, that will finally be finished with the terrorists when that is done. So if we look over here at the factories, look at them go. Awesome. Awesome possum. Now we got we got these guys down here. We're going to put you guys over here in Houston because this is, these ones are going to exploit the naval invasion once it lands. We're going to split Mexico. And I might have to look up kind of refresh my memory but basically there was this idea of how much of Mexico was going to be taken by the United States I feel like I should know this off the top of my head uh, but they were gonna they were gonna take Baja California they were gonna take the Yucatan Peninsula but they were gonna leave Mexico some of this area like like uh, like Chiapas so there was gonna be a, a gap between Yucatan, basically Yucatan was going to be a vacation home <laughs> for Americans, uh, and and I think they went down to Buena Vista. I don't know if they went 
they, I don't know if they went down as far south as like Durango, but they might have. So tentatively, when this war starts, we're gonna after it's over, we're gonna take Baja California. We might come down here to Durango and uh, Tamaulipas, and then take the Yucatan and just have a little rump state Mexico left. Rise of the speakeasies. Despite the overwhelming wave of approval prohibition received within the loyal Christian community, there were some with reservations. In the cities and up high in the mountains, illegal alcohol prohibition has been reported by our agents. The demon drink is being produced by these moral traders and is transported overnight to underground bars across the nation. We must stop this affront against our values and catch the deviants responsible. Alcoholism must be stamped out. Now, if you didn't think Pelly was evil already, he's in favor of prohibition. Oh my goodness. There's actually a lot of the United States that still lives under prohibition era laws. Or laws that are meant to curb alcohol. So for example, I was born and raised in Texas, uh, and in Texas you can't go to liquor stores have to be closed on Sundays, because that's God's day. And uh, and if you go to like a regular grocery store that sells wine or whatever, you can't buy it before noon. Okay, what's next here? Church and state or white citizens council? I suppose it doesn't matter. Oh, well, we were just talking about the church. Let's go church and state. Uh, okay, so church and state, what does that entail? The There are implicit religious values within America that only the Silver Legion can see. It is obvious to the Silver Legion and the Pelly Armstrong line that America was meant to be ruled by only pious Protestant Christians. Therefore, Chief Pelly has recognized Christianity as the official religion of the American Commonwealth. Let's get rid of that pesky separation of church and state. It's just weakening us. All right. So how many... What, what do they got? They got six planes... Or six ships. My submarines should be more than enough to deal with that. Just to be sure, let's send some more out there. All right. We covering every tile? Yeah. I don't even think... I don't even think I'm going to push in the north at all. I'm just going to, if they want to attack over the Rio, that's their business. I'm going to just go through and grab Mexico City. I might attack just to keep them busy, but that's about it. Syndicalists are still sabotaging the railways because they're jerks and annoying. Okay, so Canada is now at war with the Third International. Wow, they're doing okay. Wait, nope, nope. I thought they were doing. Actually, they're doing pretty good against the Iberian Federation. So maybe we could send some help right now. Hmm, is it gonna hurt me at all to help them? How are my logistics? You know, let's set up some. Oh, I can't build garrison units. Okay, I might actually have to make a detour from the church and state thing so I can go down and begin go out over here to uh, begin reconstruction. Because I need to start getting cores. I've got far too little population. But overall, how are they? How's the war going? Third International is getting pushed. Hmm. I suppose I could always manually justify on Germany if uh, if it begins. But boy, this is my favorite type of war, though. When Germany is being squeezed by Russia and International, and the International is being squeezed by Germany and the Entente, you just never know how it's going to play out. It's really fun for me. So I, I suppose we could help to knock out the Commune of France first, and then I could just justify on Germany and claim Middle Africa. Or I guess like I technically would. Wait, they have a non-aggression pact with your faction leader. Ah, the joys. The joys of not being the faction leader. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, so I guess we do have to prioritize taking out the Third International then. Why's France not been able to take out Liberia yet? Come on, they're so tiny. They built tanks. Huh. Interesting. Alright. What, what are we going to do here next? We can get some encryption and decryption stuff. Or start taking these ahead of time bonuses. Hmm. Oh yeah, the Marines could go back to being high priority, I think. Good. It's January. What was it in January that this was going to finish? Uh, February. February 19th. We'll be able to take a swing at them. And, oh, gosh, I really need the... Okay, if I started right now, 50, 50, 50, it's going to take me almost half a year just to begin reconstruction. That's a really long time to not be fighting um, in the war. Plus, we're, gonna, we're about to go to war with Mexico, which is going to eat up some casualties. So, yeah, we got to rebuild the country. 
A long struggle to push through the Federalist and Syndicalist forces in America has left the victorious Union state economically drained. The hand that unifies the country can either promote deficit spending regime or an austere policy that limits direct intervention in the market. More Federalist bombings. Uh, but, oh, I think we're finally done with the... Yeah, we're done with the, the Socialists. Only a few diehard radical Federalist terrorists now remain, with most of their compatriots killed or arrested. One final push to destroy the remaining safe houses hidden in the basements of ruined Washington and uh, the Maryland and Virginia area will be pacified. Okay, cool. And you know, once we once we're beginning reconstruction, and especially once we've recovered from the Civil War, we're we're just gonna quickly become an avalanche, I think, because. We've got, yeah, we just have so many good focuses here. Of course, the Administration Act is good. This is going to give us more civilian factories. Uh, down here, we can either get political power or stability whenever we want it. It'll just be there for the taking. Also, we can take some of these detour focuses, like uh, criminalizing syndicalism and forced labor. That's going to shoot our popularity through the roof. Here's another popularity boost. Christian education, that'll also help me catch up. Commonwealth for the Citizens is going to give me more political power and reduce my consumer good factories, which are only at 25% right now, so, yeah. It's it's a hard transition, but we're definitely going to get there. Okay, so the war with Mexico is about to begin, and uh, so in the next episode, hopefully we'll be able to finish them off in just the one. They're mobilizing pretty quick because they went totalist route, so they have quite a few divisions. They actually might have more divisions than I do, so i got to hope that mine are superior. Uh <clears throat> pardon me but yeah in that next episode we're going to start the war we're going to hopefully take mexico once we've taken mexico we're going to go help out the entente uh over here probably in the iberian federation is where we will attack from and so it looks like just because of how much they're already pushing and how germany has already crossed uh the uh whatever the I'm forgetting the name of it their version of the maginot line france is in this world it looks like we're going to just focus then on taking out the commune of france first take out the Union of Britain, and then we'll, uh, who, who's running the Union of Britain again? Oh, of course. Who, uh, <coughs> who else? Uh, so, yeah, in that next episode, a lot should be happening. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you then. Bye.